Hey, this is great. This is so great. Welcome to day 11, where we are speaking about homosexuality. And the past week, because this is week two, we shared more, just a little of it. And right now we are just getting deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper. Remember that this is a shout out to those who have been affected and addicted, or you have maybe one of your friends who has an issue and you need them to get help. Yes, homosexuality is a practice of sex between the same gender. When male to male practice sex, it's called gazing. When female to female practice sex, it's called lesbianism. And you know, the world right now is shouting too much about the LGBTQ. And most of the nations, we celebrate Uganda, we celebrate many nations which have banned this. And we know that even in our country, Kenya, and other nations even from where you are watching from, we are going to be ambassadors. We shall still stand for the truth and say no to LGBTQ. Now, uh, Romans chapter 1 verse 27, the Bible says, And the men also turned from natural relations with women, and there was set a blessed burning out. Um, there was set a blessed burning out, leaving the natural use of woman burned in their lust one toward another. Men with men, working that which is unseemly, it is not common, and receiving in themselves that recompense of their own error which was to meet. Leviticus chapter 13, it speaks about sexual relations between men and men. He says, it is unforbidden that a man should not lie with another man as a man lies with a man, with, with a woman. So it, is, it should not be hard. Genesis, as we refer again, we know that God created Adam and Eve. Mungu aliumba Adam na if not Adam and Steve, and not Eve and Evelyn. No, it was Adam and Eve, male and female. But do you know what? Are you, are you, are you experiencing some feelings towards the same gender that you are in? Are you encountering challenges when you are seated with the same gender? Sexually, you feel like you really need to have something with that gender. Do you hate men and you are a woman? You hate men too much and you feel if I'm given an opportunity, I would choose even to stay with my fellow woman, not even a man. Are you a man? and you hate women too much, you feel a lot of hatred. Those are signs of an attack. You know that you have been attacked by the devil because the main agenda of the devil is to make sure that he steals from us. He destroys us. He introduces carnality and evil things, evil kind of thoughts. He controls us. He makes sure that he, he attacks your mind. One of the ways to show that you have been attacked and your mind has been attacked and it is under the, the control of the devil is when you find yourself in love with your fellow men sexually. Because there is the filial love, there is the agape love, and of course you know as men to another man, you should be showing agape love. A woman to another woman, agape love. And the same still, to everybody else and now it gets deeper when people get married it now changes uh, it now improves it's not even changing it improves it advances now you are given an opportunity now to engage yourself into a sexual love so if you are there and you are struggling in loving the opposite gender in relating with the opposite gender Yes, this is an attack and it's from hell. 
There are demons which have been assigned to make sure that our generation has been introduced to homosexuality and it has become a norm. This is a deception where you find a woman who is not comfortable of being a woman. They want to become a man. They want to play the roles of men. You know that they are in homosexuality. They are getting introduced to homosexuality where you find a, a man is not comfortable. He doesn't want the big chest, yeah? the, the, the normal chest. He, he, he wants now to have some breast. Yeah? He doesn't want, you know, the, the, the man figure. There is what they want. They are, they are interested, they feel, eh, nana kavizuri ni kiva skirt. Nana kavizuri, eh, ni kiva kamisi ndani. He, nana kavizuri ni, ni kitembea, eh, ukunyuma kukiwa kumeongezwa. He, nana kavizuri, he, kama, eh, you know, kama migu yangu imenona nona kidogo. He, nana kavizuri, you know that you are, are under attack of homosexuality. He, una, unaona, Mr. Kikuongea kama mtu, mwanaume wa kawaida. Mm, eh, nataka ku slay kama msichana, nataka kufanya kila kitu kama mse. You know, you are under attack. And I'm not saying for those who are born, you know, kuna watu walizali wa, wa kiongea, you know, softly, you would think, eh, unasikia hiyo, ana base, ana, sisemi ya, mina sema, mtu mzuri tu ambaya mezaliwa, lakini tutabia fulani, tumeanza kukrop ndani yake. Ameanza tu, eh, and I feel too, are you comfortable? Kuna vile tu anataka kukua mama. Kuna vile tu anataka kuingia tu akue mama. Na pia that lady, kuna vile tu anataka kukua mwanaume. Ataki, ataki the normal nature yake yenye mungu alimumba na ayo. Kuna vile God alitaka uwe. And let me tell you, you will know that you are under attack ya homosexuality. Izo vitu ukianza kuzinot ndani yako. Ugeanza kuzinote. Unataka kuwa opposite gender. Eh? Unapata ukiwa na mwana umemwezako, unataka, eh, you, you are tempted hata kumshika kidogo, kufanya maneno, ku, eh, you, you know, you, you know that you are under attack. And people have been attacked. The good thing is that God is here. God is available. God is present to those who call upon him. Unataka kusevika, unasema God niko hapa, nataka unikomboe. Let me tell you, I've noted homosexuality is so addictive. And there is a lie of the devil that will tell you, you were born to be that way. Let me tell you, nobody was born to be an homosexual. Nobody was born to be a man, woman, a, a, a man who is, nobody was born to, yeah, nobody. You just know nobody. Just know that's an attack of the devil. And please don't help the devil in his work. Refuse it. Don't allow the devil to make you an instrument for him. To do what he wants you to do. To go where he wants you to go. Refuse it. Your body is the temple of God. Refuse it. Now make up your mind. And the biggest place that the devil will attack, number one, is your mind. When the devil convinces you that you are born this way. This is how you should live. This is the way, take it. It's so foreign, but the devil has prevailed to convince you. Let me tell you, you will fall. And you will find yourself practicing things. Unashindwa mbona, mbona sinaga feeling za wasichana. Nikona two feeling to za maboy na feel. Mi ni boy, lakini kona feeling za maboy. Mi ni msichana na feel niko, you know. And this thing does not respect anybody. You better be careful. And that's why many people who have engaged into homosexuality, number one, they, have either, they were either introduced or they were attacked. Their minds were attacked and they, there is something that just came over them and they were convinced by the devil. Oh, you are not born to be a woman. You are born to be a man. You are not born to be a man. You are born to be a woman. And it's so sad that in our generation right now, we were counting, we were counting 0, .0 something percent. Right now, in our country, Kenya, you will count more than 27 percent. Can you imagine engaging to sexual immorality and mostly in the area of homosexuality? 27 percent. Can you imagine how that serious it is? 
we need to wake up. There is no procreation in homosexuality. A man and another man cannot give birth. They cannot give birth to children. A woman and another woman cannot give birth. There is how God created sex to be. My dear, let me tell you, be careful. You are under attack. Wake up. Ask yourself some question. Is this the way that God wants me to be? No, it's not. Is this the way God wants me to walk in? It's not. Definitely you know it's not. Wake up. Say no to those practices. Sex was created for procreation mainly. Apart from enjoyment, mainly for procreation. You cannot procreate. You cannot marry your fellow man. It's not it's not natural. It's not even natural. Not even God. It's not natural and it's not godly. It's against God, it's against nature, it's against the original plan of God. Thank you so much. Reach us through 0710 0710-269-571. Mue underscore Eric on Instagram. Eric Mue on Facebook. And also Eric Mue Official on YouTube. Just get there. Too much message to respond. To talk idea to Kwapo. To Kwapo to We are here to help you. God bless you.